All right. Um, I am upgrading from the MetaQuest 3 128 gig to the MetaQuest 3 512 gig because it wasn't enough storage. And because they lowered the price, Sue, here we go. Congrats to everybody that got the 3S and everybody who got any other headset, such as the 3 or even the 2. Whatever you got. And screw Microsoft for breaking all those damn VR headsets. Bastards. Anyway. Here we go. We are unboxing this, unsleeving it. Got Batman with this. So, we'll be able to play that. Not a huge Arkham fan, but I don't hate it. And it may be a, quite a bit different in VR. <laughs> Sometimes some games uh, pique my interest way more when I play them in VR. So, here we have the headset now. And uh, the controllers, which I'm already familiar with. These are definitely better than the Quest 2 controllers. So uh, without the ring, uh, the only thing is I've heard people say that uh, um, they have they experience worse tracking and things like Beat Saber, which I don't play. So for me, these are better because I don't bang the rings together. And yeah. So, we have our second controller with a little dust on it. <laughs> Has batteries in there. Pull this out and activate the batteries. And now they are ready. And here we have the headset with the crappy head strap. So, yeah, so I, 128 was not enough for me, so now we have 512, which is probably more than enough for me. Boom. Pancake lenses. Give me that. And there's the headset. The only difference from the one I have is that it's 512, um, 512 gigabytes. And so now I can put all the games I want on here and I don't have to not play games because they're too big. <laughs> um, and I will put my whole setup that I have on this, but I got to download some games onto this first. I also have to make sure the thing works because it looked like somebody dropped it on the corner. Uh, so let's turn it on and make sure that it actually works and oh, there through the lenses here's through the lens footage I've done it I am now Tyrell Wood I've got through the lens footage it's working I'm going to Ooh, I'm recording this in 3D, uh, as well as I'm going to post it in 2D for everybody else. But I figure I'm using the X-Real Beam to record this. Um, and what better, <laughs> what better way to use the, the 3D cameras than to record an unboxing of the 3D VR headset. Um, now, let's see, is this actually fully working? I'm going to put this on my head. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. This is like a big reminder of what the past three used to be like. Because, uh, so, it's, I'm assuming, not on the latest firmware, but the original pass through was really bad. And as soon as I put that on, it reminds me of how bad it was in the beginning. And then once I update this, it should actually look way better. But, yeah, the pass through. <laughs> I did a video when I first got it, a review through the pass-through, and it looked terrible, and things didn't look quite as good as they do now. 
Uh, in fact, my review and uh, my review, I was uh, wondering if I was really harsh on the thing. And now that I'm looking at the original software that came with it, or whatever, whatever version it's on, it's like, whoa. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks way better now after a lot of updates. But yeah, here we are. We got the 512 gigabyte version. We'll be downloading Batman, uh, playing that. I have to get Asgard's Wrath on here. Um, and Metro is coming out. Metro, uh, Metro Exodus, whatever. Um, yeah, so, and then it comes with Quest Plus, which I already have a year of. So, yeah, that's a thing that happens. And I will be kind of reminding myself what, what it was like when it was out of the box. <laughs> and uh, again, everybody, enjoy your three S's and your threes and, uh, and, and Batman. So, yeah, have a good one. Thank you for watching.